Thank you. Oh, spring has sprung here, huh? Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I could see the uh, happiness, the enthusiasm, the love. Because, thank you, and we are getting back to normal. I see it everywhere. The traffic is heavier. Restaurants are open. Republicans pretend to give a shit about the dead again. I, I, it's, I feel like any minute Pam Anderson could remarry Kid Rock. I, it, things are just returning. And listen to this. To the CDC, they said that, you know, the distancing rule they have for kids, school kids, which has been six feet. Now, three feet. <laughs> moving in the right direction. In Florida, the students are hopeful that by fall they'll be back inside their teachers. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, I kid, Florida. But of, course, <laughs> but, of course, with us reopening, it brings other issues. We have a surge of migrants at the border, and the authorities say we cannot take any more, any more uh, unskilled foreigners who don't even seem like they want to work. We already have Meghan and Harry. That, that's... <laughs> And, uh, oh, that's a good crowd. Good crowd. <laughs> good crowd. <laughs> she give out treats when they laugh at the, laugh at the politically incorrect ones. Good. Uh, but uh, here's something interesting I read about the pandemic that we're hopefully coming out of it. During this <laughs> last year, they say, this survey's found, the average single person has been masturbating three times a day. I don't know who this is exactly. I assume it's the guy in the Zoom meeting who claims he's petting his cat. I assume. <laughs> I, no, well. <laughs> of course, this doesn't really reveal anything about human nature we don't already know, but it does explain why Costco is always out of Kleenex. <laughs> yeah. But hey, <sighs> Biden's kind of kicking ass. You know, they've, uh, uh, well, you know, his big thing was, I'm gonna get 100... When he, that was his big thing. I'm gonna get 100 million vaccines out and 100... He's way ahead. 97 million vaccines have got 2 million a day now. Uh, Trump... Trump... Trump said, oh, sure, if you want to show off government that tries. No, Biden promised 100 million in 100 days, way ahead of that schedule. Of course, uh, you have to understand this is a guy who eats dinner at 5 p.m. <laughs> so... <laughs> but one reason why they're doing so well with that is they expanded the list of who can give uh, shots. Dentists. <laughs> Did you know that? You're getting it for... <laughs> Medical students. Midwives. Midwives? I didn't even know I had those. <laughs> Veterinarians, and that, I went to my vet. Oh, it's fine. It's a little different. He gave me this shot and then he put a cone on my neck. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, yes, it was, it's a little, okay. It's a little weird going to the vet for a shot. I had to trick myself to get into the car. But other than that, it's a, But you've read this. People are figuring out ways to jump the vaccine lines. Oh, yeah, at, at Berkeley now, you can get it if your spiritual advisor says you're an old soul. That <laughs> seems wrong. In L.A., <laughs> you can get it if your facial filler is still under warranty. That's... <clears throat> Speaking of facial filler, the Oscar nominations are out. Are you excited about that? Yes, the leading contenders for Best Picture are uh, Nomadland, Minari, and The Sound of Metal. So, for theaters who <laughs> are trying to figure out how to reopen at 15% capacity, I think we found the answer. 